you, man. How you feeling? My man, big fan. Yeah. Boy, you got some fans out here, man. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> man, Thank you this very is much. a pleasure, man. Friends premiered 24 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. Do you still get people coming up to you, man, about this show? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we've been, um, God, it's like a place, and I think everywhere they have electricity, it seems like they have friends. <laughs> yeah. It's just everywhere. And it's just this, I still can't believe that I was a part of it, you know? And I think maybe the, one of the reasons that it's still so relevant is we never dealt with, like, anything topical, you know, like, Nothing political, no yeah. current events. It was always themes like love and trust and betrayal and friendship and yeah. family, you know, things that never go out. That's good, man. Let me ask you something. <laughs> With all these reboots of iconic TV shows, man, you think you'll ever see Friends as a remake? Well, like old friends? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't. I, me, personally, I don't think so. And I, I, I've talked to the writers about it. You know, that show was about a very finite period in your life when you were, like, between 20 and 30, right around, you know, right in there when you're, you're out of school, but you're, you've, life hadn't really started yet, and your friends or your family, that, and you're kind of finding your way. And when that period is over, it's over. Right. You know what I mean? People, like, all the characters have gone their separate ways. Yeah. <laughs> I always have this like standard go-to joke when people say, well, we, we want to see what Joey's doing now. Like, nobody wants to see Joey at his colonoscopy. No, nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to see that. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it's true. It's like, <laughs> I think it's better. I think it's, you know, like the book is better than the movie. Yeah. Know, so. But man, it was a great show, man. I, after well, Friends, you. you took a five-year break from acting and you stayed home as a father. Was that a big adjustment? Yeah, I was like, uh, cutting my own hair, had a big old beard. It was, uh, people thought I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great, you know, cause <clears throat> that's, I mean, we, for, well, I did 10 years of Friends and two years of the spinoff show, Joey. And it was like 12 years of like, just working all the time and photo shoots and we're in the public eye. And then I went from that to just, just don't call me. And it was, it was really nice. I spent a lot of time with my daughter. She was really young then. Spent a lot of time, I have this uh, cattle ranch up north, spent a lot of time there, playing with the horses and the cows and the dirt. I heard that, about how far up north? How big is your place? Uh, it's uh, about maybe an hour north of Santa Barbara in okay. California. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of land up there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can buy land up there. You can't buy land around here. You can buy You can't buy, really it, but buy you... land up there much anymore. No. My grandfather always said, buy land. It's the only thing they're not making more of. Yeah. I was like, that's a good point. So I'm <laughs> yeah. But you have a big ranch too, don't you? Yeah, I got a place in Texas. Yeah. Just north of Dallas, a place called Little Elm. I like getting out there, man, mm -hmm. and just fishing, walking around. I got four wheelers. Yeah, I, I just go out there. Me too. It's fun. And just fish, get off of them and fish, catch something, put it back, maybe eat it. You never know. <laughs> I just like it, man. That's what I want to do, man. Yeah. That's really cool, man. Now, are you a cool dad or a strict dad? I guess it depends who you ask, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty strict, but on certain things I am. Certain things I'm not. Like, you know, where are you going? What are you doing? But then if, you know, you want to sneak off to Taco Bell, I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to go with you, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm kind of right down the middle. Like, How old is she? 14. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what I gotta tell you, man, I got four daughters. My youngest daughter's 21. The pain. Yeah. It ain't even started yet. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's great. I'm... No, that's Matt, that's from to me to you, brother. <laughs> hey, man, you were talking about your ranch up there you got, man. You also got a motocross track in it. Yeah, yeah. How long you been riding? Uh, I think I started riding dirt bikes when I was about eight. My dad got me a bike. I was really into that. My mom said, <laughs> you ain't riding that thing. So I was <laughs> yeah. like, sneak off and ride. Yeah, yeah there it is. It was, uh, it's a lot of fun. I like it. But also, I put the track in and everything, and did all the groundwork and put sprinklers in and did all that stuff. And it's more fun to go ride in the woods, though. 
The track, yeah. I get bored. It's the same round and around and around, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Art in the Woods is more fun. Yeah, I like that. Man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're the first American uh, host of the longest running BBC series, Top Gear. <laughs> What's the best car you've ever driven on the show? Ooh, um, I drove the new Ford GT, which is a pretty awesome car. Yeah. And that's one of the first production cars that was designed as a race car first and then put it on the street. And then we just drove the new Ferrari 812 Superfast. It makes 800 horsepower. It's awesome. Great car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, but we drive a lot of cool stuff. Like, like just last week I was there and uh, on our racetrack that, we sh that the show uses where we yeah. put the star in the car, that yeah. segment. They have the new Porsche GT2 RS. And <laughs> I took that out on the track. And wow, is that a weapon? That yeah. thing's cool, yeah. Yeah, see, y'all y'all like fast cars. I'm a big Cadillac man. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we've driven... We drove last year in... Uh, uh, or maybe it was the year before last, in Ireland, the new Rolls-Royce Dawn, the convertible. Come on, now we talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we talking. That's Yeah, nice. Rolls-Royce. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Hey, man, let's do something fun. Let's play this uncensored rapid-fire question. <laughs> You gotta like these, man. Right up your alley. What was your first car? Uh, first car was a 1984 Nissan four-wheel drive pickup truck, silver. Yeah. Got in trouble, took it behind the skating rink, we found a mound of dirt. Me and my friend jumped it. And right when we landed, I noticed the cop car sitting there. <laughs> so, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hello, officer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you could be someone else for one day, who would it be? I think I'd be you. Sounds like you got a name, man. Yeah. Wow, oh, man. What's your favorite show of all time that you're not in? Probably Taxi. Taxi was... That show was great. Hey, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, uh, that's easy. Pizza. Come on, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Hands down. Oh, man. All day. Man, that's me, man. You know, this... This is, people say, oh, the best pizza's here, the best pizza. There is no such thing as bad pizza. I mean, the crap ones that you get in the freezer and you take <laughs> yeah. it out and you nuke it, and you don't even have to bake it, you can nuke it. And it's just like, it's great. I don't care. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Matt LeBlanc. Great job, man. I love that. Thank you, brother. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.